Over the last decade, the traditional banking system has undergone an unprecedented technological transformation. By all indications, this process is likely to become even more intense in the coming years. India's DPI journey is a unique model, wherein the basic technical infrastructure, that is the technological infrastructure, is built, operated, and managed in the public sector while the private sector accesses the DPI to create innovative customer-facing services and products. The advantage of developing DPI in the public sector is that typically the private sector would be averse to capital investment to create infrastructure with uncertain returns. Privately created infrastructure may not also be amenable to democratized access or interoperability. While initial participants on the UPI platform were banks, non-bank third-party app providers and use of QR codes have all combined in popularizing the UPI. It has since emerged as a robust, cost-effective and portable retail payment system and is attracting active interest across the globe. Continuing on this journey of digitalization of banking services, last year, we launched a pilot of a technology platform which enables frictionless credit. And this initiative is very important for all policymakers, for all authorities, whether they are from governments or central banks or they are private banks or private uh, financial companies. From you know this initiative which we launched last year, it's still in the pilot mode, and it's called uh, it's basically a technology platform for enabling frictionless credit. From now on, we proposed to call it the unified lending interface. I repeat, the unified lending interface that is ULI. This platform facilitates seamless flow of digital information including even land records of various states from multiple data service providers to lenders. This cuts down the time taken for credit appraisal, especially for smaller and rural borrowers. By digitizing access to customers' financial and non-financial data that otherwise resided in disparate silos, ULI, that is Unified Lending Interface, is expected to cater to large unmet demand for credit across various sectors, particularly for agricultural and MSME borrowers. Based on our experience from the pilot project, a nationwide launch of the ULI will be done in due course. The new trinity of JAM, UPI, and ULI will be a revolutionary step forward in Indi India's digital infrastructure journey. Two major initiatives of the Reserve Bank in the digital public infrastructure space, one is the ULI, which, is, which was launched last year, which is in pilot mode. The other one is the CBDC, which was launched towards the end of 2022, and it's in the pilot mode. And we are eventually making CBDC and UPI interoperable so that the reach and access the reach and the our objective of spreading financial inclusion through these payment systems can become more broad based and go to every nook and corner of a large country like india